I did not want to leave you guys without a video for the end of the year so I decided to make my 2015 favorites and I wrote out a whole list because I thought I cannot possibly make this video on a whim because I have way too many favorites first of all. Second of all I haven't made a video in a long time so I may be a bit rusty but I wanted to do a favorites video for 2015 because I do have a lot of favorites and I just like feel like 2015 was a, a great year for just things and finding things and discovering a lot of different things so I'm just gonna jump right into it my camera's on low battery that's wonderful who doesn't love low battery <laughs> um and yeah I know I haven't made a video in like two months and I do apologize for that I don't have any real excuse I mean I was wrapping up finals for college I was just you know doing all that I came home and I just haven't been in the mood to make a video I haven't known what to make so this is kind of me making a video first of all because I want to make a video for you guys and I have a lot of favorites I want to share that with you guys but I also want suggestions from you guys asking what you want to see in the new coming year and yeah I'll be more than happy to take suggestions and hopefully do them for you in 2016 so let's go ahead and get started with my favorites for 2015 so my first favorite I'm gonna start with is in the makeup department which I don't have hardly any favorites for that kind of thing but I do have a foundation that I have been loving and this is the matte poreless foundation this is from Maybelline it's from their fit me collection honestly this is my go-to foundation I don't use any other foundation I think this is a foundation I've been using pretty much all year and it's literally my favorite it just it works so well it blends so well and it honestly is so matte like surprisingly enough it really is beautiful and I think it just is the best for my skin and I've been using this like crazy and then my last makeup favorite I haven't had like a good year in makeup because I don't really buy that much makeup but when I do I usually really like it or I really don't like it so these are just two products that I've especially liked and this is the other one this is the Revlon Ultra HD matte lip color these are just like really amazing like I'm wearing it right now and I love this stuff so much you guys it's awesome this isn't the color that I wanted at first but it's okay and um it, it's actually like matte too it's I don't know this like whole matte trend has been going on with makeup throughout 2015 and I was like let me just hit it up at the end I recently bought this I loved it it smells good it goes on well it stays on well what more can I say Next is hair favorites, or favorite rather. I only have one, and that is a hair dye brand. And as you guys can see, I have my hair dyed. And it looks a bit faded right now, which it is, because I have had the same hair dye in for a couple of months. And it has been by the brand Ion, and it's Color Brilliance Brights. I use sky blue um, just for the majority of the time that I had my colored hair, and then I went to like a lighter color. It was supposed to be more pastel, but it pretty much just faded but that's okay I'll probably just end up using this next time I go to dye my hair but this stuff is freaking amazing you guys the ion color brilliance brights you can get at Sally's Beauty Supply for like five dollars and it stays in it is a semi permanent so it's not gonna stay in forever and it will fade but if you get the right shampoos and stuff to just like keep the color vibrant it will stay vibrant like I think mine's still pretty blue for the most part and I think this stuff has just worked out really well for me next is books I have like just found the mother load of books for, for 2015 and I read so much um, at the beginning of the year more than I have been recently but the books that I've been loving have been Mosquito Land and this is by David Arnold this is a great book I read um, I think I got this for my birthday so like in March around March I read this I read this in literally like three days I went through this book so fast um, basically it's just about this girl who gets on a greyhound and goes to see her mom and it's just it's just a really great story honestly if you guys want to know what any of the books are about I'll give like a brief quick like summary of what they're about but otherwise you should just check them out I'll link them all below like little synopsises of them and you guys can check them out for yourselves so that has been one of my favorites as well as this one by Anne Rule. This is the book that I was reading at the beginning of the year. I remember clearly because I got my best friend and I got yelled at in class for reading or writing or something. We were doing something and this is the book that I had with me. This is called The Stranger Beside Me and this is a book by Anne Rule. It's a true crime book. I've been really into true crime 
and basically it accounts the author's experience of working alongside the serial killer Ted Bundy and it's just it's just such an intense book honestly like it's so good if you're a true crime or just like interested in this kind of subject then I recommend reading this Anne Rule is such a good author when it comes to true crime you guys and then these last two books are actually in a series and the last book comes out in 2016 which I'm so excited for and these are like teen books but I really like them because they're just about aliens and stuff so I have read The Fifth Wave and The Infinite Sea and I really like these books a lot. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I wasn't crazy about the storyline so much or like just like characters. Some characters I were like yes about but other characters I was just like mm, not needed like the main characters for example. Um, I don't know. There's just some problems I had with it but at the same time I really liked parts of it and I just thoroughly enjoyed the imagery it gave me. So yes, I will link all those books down below so you guys can check them out for yourselves and see if you want to watch them. Or watch them. I mean read them. What am I talking about? Okay. Next is movies. Okay. <sighs> movies in 2015. I feel like I didn't watch that many great movies, but for the most part I did find a, a couple of gems that I really enjoyed. I watched the movie Wild and that is honestly like my my favorite movie now. It's just, it's so, it's so great you guys. Like I watched it with my best friend. She came back for from winter break and I just remember like I had been wanting to watch it in 2014 at the end of the year and I couldn't find it online because I watch all my movies online because I don't like paying for them. Yeah, whatever, illegal, I don't know. <laughs> but I ended up finding it and we watched it together and I cried like a baby and ever since then when I just want to like feel emotional, I watched that movie. That's so weird. Okay, but I just, I really really like it honestly just uh, please watch it you guys it is really good another movie that I watched was the way he looks and this was actually on Netflix and this is a movie about two boys who just kind of it's like a coming-to-age movie and these two boys just kind of like start to like each other and it's just really intense it's a foreign language movie or not like well yeah it's a foreign language so if you don't speak English then it's a movie I'm pretty sure it's in Italian but it's so good you guys oh my god I I really liked it it was such a simple plot but at the same time it was just like I don't know it was really special feeling I don't know just I feel like it just really like illustrated this whole like blossoming of these two boys and kind of how they fell in love or something. I don't know. I really liked it. Another movie I watched, which actually didn't even come out in 2015, it came out years ago, was Brokeback Mountain. I don't know what took me so long to watch this. I know my parents always talked about it and I just always heard about it, but I never actually watched it. And then I recently watched it and I was just like, oh my God, this movie is so good. And my battery actually just died as soon as I like was in the middle of talking. <laughs> I don't even know what I was talking about. What was I talking about? I think I was on movies. I think I was talking about Brokeback Mountain. Yes, so let's just pick up from there. Brokeback Mountain, great movie. I totally recommend it even though I'm sure everyone has already watched it. I am always late to watching movies and <laughs> pretty much anything like that. Next movie I loved was called Laggies and this is also an older movie and I just was kind of just watching trailers on YouTube, random trailers, and I came across the trailer for Laggies and I thought it looked really good so I was like, you know, I'll watch it, whatever, and I watched it and I just like, I don't know, it was one of those movies I feel like I related to and it was just really nice to watch. It was just kind of corny and cheesy, but I really liked it, so <sighs> I don't know. I just like had some kind of like weird connection to it that it just kind of stuck with me, and I was like, I really like this movie. This is a good one. The last movie that I really, really liked is one that my best friend actually showed me, and it was called, I'm pretty sure the full name of it is The Tale of Princess Kaguya, um, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I loved this movie so much when I watched it at first. I thought it was just so beautifully done. It is an animated movie and it's just, I don't know, it was such a good movie. It was like, it was such a, a good plot and story and just the ending was so like devastating and just, I don't know, it was just such a good movie, honestly. If you guys want to try something different and kind of out of the realm of things that most people would watch, it's not like a super mainstream movie in terms of like American culture, but it is a really good movie and I would highly recommend watching it. And again, linking everything below or just like putting it in the down bar so you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Next, oh my gosh, I like to think that 2015 was just my year to discover music because 
I have not, like, I, I just found so much good music this year, it's crazy. I, I don't even know, I just like, I don't know, this was just a year for music for me. I honestly have a huge list, I need to just like start from the top and try my best to get through it without it taking an hour. So the first artist is Sufjan Stevens, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right again, but he is such an amazing, talented musician. He is one of those musicians that does like, oh my gosh, my phone is like vibrating. He does like um, a lot of instruments with his music and okay, so beyond that, a um, couple of my favorite songs by him are Age of Ads, Come On, Feel the Illinois, Vesuvius, and Impossible Soul. Impossible Soul is like a half hour long song, but it is so good. It's so good, um, but he's, oh my gosh, a really great artist if you're into like, I don't even know what the genre would be like labeled as, it's just really interesting and just super good. I love the song El Condor Pasa, If I Could by Simon, Simon and Garfunkel. Okay, it is from the movie Wild, that's where I heard the song first, and like I said, that movie is like my favorite movie of 2015. I just really love the song, it was, it just, just like the lyrics and everything about it was so touching and just like, I really just connected with it and felt that it was... A really important song for me and just my my own life and it was it sounded amazing too. I really like the song, well the songs, the band in general, the careful ones. They're another band that I found on Spotify and I liked the songs especially Easy Tiger and Lake Winona. Those two songs kind of became like the anthem for my story that I was working on and I, I really just like listened to them a lot whenever I was getting into the mode of writing. These songs, I I mean, I know I'm just saying, oh, these are so good, but these songs really, like, I, I felt that. <laughs> I felt them in my soul or something. I don't even know. Call me cheesy, call me overdramatic. I I, th I think these songs just, like, I don't know, they, they really just felt so special and amazing. I, I Guys, I can't, you can't thoroughly express music. You just have to listen to it for yourself and judge it yourself. I like the song I Apologize, Dear Simon by Moss, and the song, again, I found in a movie from Netflix, it's called Boys, I'm pretty sure, and um, I just, I don't know, I, I like the song, it's cool, it sounds cool to me, I don't know, it's a good song. <laughs> High Hopes by Codaline, or Codaline, not sure how to say their name, but again, great song, probably heard it, it's one of the more mainstream songs. Sea Fret. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how I discovered them. I probably, I think I actually, I like accidentally just discovered their music out of nowhere and I just started listening to it on repeat. I must listen to their songs like 400 times or something. I don't even know, like I'm not even exaggerating with that. I love the songs, especially Oceans and Sinking Ship. Just amazing, guys. I really liked 21 Pilots. Surprisingly, like I had never really been into 21 Pilots until like recently-ish, and I really like the songs. They're 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 you know more of the popular songs, but I don't know. I, I like them. Stressed Out and Ride were just like two of the songs that I really that like stuck with me. I really lis enjoyed listening to them. Why can't I talk today? Oh my gosh. Yeah. So those two songs are great. I kind of like rediscovered Pearl Jam. I don't know. I, I, I've always like heard my parents talking about Pearl Jam and I've listened to Pearl Jam before but I never really got into it. <sighs> and then like just this whole recent onslaught of emotion came to me and I was like, let me listen to Pearl Jam. Like I like Pearl Jam, right? I don't know. So I listened to it and I'm like, yeah, I, I really like Pearl Jam. Um, three other songs, Jeremy, Alive, and Black. Just so good you guys oh my god those are like again more the more popular mainstream songs but there's a reason they're popular because they are super great I like the song by Ra Rise Rage no what am I saying I really like the song from Rage Against the Machine it's called Killing in the Name and it's just like a really political song but it's so good it's just one of those songs that makes you want to like get up and be like yeah and just like I mean their band is Rage Against the Machine like that's exactly what it makes you want to do it's it's a great song 
and that's it for music oh my gosh I got through it without taking up like 15 minutes okay that's great guys music has just been like a huge part of my year and has altogether been very defining for my own like self and the way that I've been feeling and everything so if you ever want to look at what music I'm listening to my Spotify profile is completely public and no I'm not sponsored or anything that's just where I listen to my music specifically because you can create playlists and stuff so it's just easier so if you ever want to see what music I'm listening to just go to my Spotify I always link it down below so yeah Last but certainly not least is television. Television for 2015 has been quite spectacular. I love watching random TV shows. Like I never, like they just, I don't, I'm not like a huge watcher of television. Usually I'll just watch whatever my parents watch and that's it. But I actually found a few shows just out of the interest of like being on Tumblr. I saw a lot of people watching them. I'm like, what's that all about? So I gave them a chance. My best friend actually was watching Game of Thrones before I started watching it and she was like, yeah, it's really good, you should check it out. And I think I started watching it in 2014, but I finished watching it in 2015, so it still technically counts because <laughs> I got more into it in 2015. Actually, I may have started it in 2015. I'm not actually sure. I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? Right? Right. But Game of Thrones is amazing. I'm sure you guys have heard of this show by now. It's just, it's one of the most popular shows currently. It's uh, it's so intense and good. Season 5 was so freaking great. Oh my gosh. I, if, you, if you like Game of Thrones, you know what I'm talking about. Let's like rave together down in the comments, okay? I really enjoyed Big Brother. I, I don't know. I just like really got into it this year. I don't know what it is. I just really like Big Brother. It's a great show. It's just a reality show. It's super silly and I don't know, I just, I, I watched it and I was just like constantly like just in Big Brother mode with like when it came to like the live stream and like constant updates of the show. I didn't just watch the show on television and then that was it. I was like a super fan binging on every aspect of Big Brother, even to the point where I started playing online versions of the game. Yeah, I got a little crazy, but it, it, it just, it was so fun. I couldn't help myself. And with that, I also um, started watching Survivor, which is also such a good show. What the heck? What have I been missing for years now? Like, seriously. Um, but yeah, Survivor, another really good show that I recently actually started to watch and I thought was really awesome. So yeah, two thumbs up to that. Yes. Another show that I actually like literally finished today and I watched within like yesterday I started it, today I finished it. Wow. <laughs> Granted it's only one season so it's not like that bad. It was 13 episodes. I don't think that's that bad. You know, I watched it in two days. Whatever. We, we all deserve it. Is Screen Queens. It's one of those shows I wouldn't typically watch just because it's not my preferred type of show but I was like, yeah, let me give it a chance. I always see people talking about it. The first episode I was just like this is really silly but then it's like it's a mystery so you kind of just get grasped into it and like pulled into it and you can't help but keep watching because it's like wait I want to know who the killer is or hey I want to know what's going on and I actually really like it like I don't even know why it's just so silly and it's like so over the top but I, I actually really enjoy it even though it's really silly and it's targeted towards younger people but at the same time it's like it is still pretty funny. Another show that I kind of rediscovered slash finished was America's Next Top Model. If you guys don't know, the last season, the final season ever of America's Next Top Model happened this year and I'm very happy to see that Niall won. He was my favorite if you guys watched that. And yeah, I just kind of like watched almost every season because I remember watching it was when I was little and I was like, let me just like rewatch it. And that's pretty much what I did like over the summer as I watched uh, America's Next Top Model and then I watched the final season and that was that. So yeah. And then the last show was a show that my best friend actually showed me and it was just like amazing and it's not really a show it's more like I mean I guess you can consider it a show but it's an anime and it's called number six it's so 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 good and I feel like there's this common misconception that anime is just like really weird and just like for weirdos and that's absolutely not true it is a form of art and it is super beautiful and I'm very grateful that my best friend showed me or else I would not have like known about it because I was one of those people who was super skeptical about anime and just like oh that's weird you know, only freaking weird people watch up, but that's not true. It's very, very untrue. 
I love the show, anime, whatever you want to call it. It was so good. Like, honestly, just uh, I can't even express fully any of these things that I've watched or listened to. You just, you just have to check them out on your own and form your own opinion about it. And maybe try to feel the same feelings that I'm feeling. <laughs> 2015 overall was just kind of like a whirlwind of like emotion, of doing things and like I graduated high school, I started college, like all these things and it was just like it's crazy. Okay, my card is almost full so I'm gonna wrap up and say goodbye. I hope you guys had a great year and I hope 2016 is great. I love you guys so so much. Thank you for constantly supporting me and I'll see you next time. Bye!